Hello and welcome to update 3 on Typhoon Kamari. This is a category 1 typhoon on the Saffir Simpson hurricane wind scale at 11.9 degrees north, 138.8 degrees east as of 11 o'clock Philippine time on November the 28th. This is in the morning. You can see winds of 85 miles per hour, pressure of 971 millibars, and this storm is expected to become quite monstrous for the Philippines over the next few days. Here it is on the CDPS scale, a stage 8 on the CDPS scale, as can be seen here. Wind speed expected to be major, storm size also supposed to be up there, with rainfall potential being major, as well as the overall threat to land. Stage 8 is a very, very concerning stage to be at, that's for Tobacco, Philippines, which is ground zero for landfall at this time. That means catastrophic impacts are possible at this time, so storm needs to be taken seriously. Here are the wind fields for the storms. This thing isn't going to be impacting soon enough for this to really be of that much importance at the moment. But you can see where it is, located relative to everywhere else. You can see here distances and miles away from, from places from Tacloban, 918 miles. Calaguio, 942 miles from Legazipi. 1,007 miles from Cebu City, 1,008 miles, and from Sagandi Oro, 1,013 miles away. There are no alerts in effect at this time, but the Philippines will likely be issuing alerts on this storm within the next few days. And here, sea surface temperatures are going to be excellent for this storm throughout its entire life up to the Philippines. 29 to 30 degrees Celsius, not going to be a problem. Because of that, we're expecting this to become a very strong typhoon. Our own forecaster, Ethan Burning, expecting this to become a 155 mile per hour beast before uh, topping off a little bit, weakening just slightly by 120 hours. Could make a landfall by that point, we'll see. Um, but you can see right here a Category 4 monster, almost a Category 5 right now on the forecast. Category 5 certainly on the cards. So here are the chances of tropical storm force winds. Virac at 19%, Naga at 13%, Tacloban at 11%, Ventica City at 7%, and Manila also at 7%. You can see right here, those are likely to go up for the next few days. So here's the intensity forecast. The only model that's really being closely followed for intensity at the moment is the h uh, with the JCWC making a much more linear curve off of that on their forecast. We're also following it. CHP6 also projecting something similar to this, so we're definitely keeping a track of this. CHP6 being the best model of the year so far. You can see GFS also strengthening this substantially over the next few days, getting it all the way up to a Category 4, which for a model that is of a low enough resolution as the GFS, these are probably going to have a very strong storm on our hands. Wind shear is expected to be relatively low over the next few days. That peak of shear that was preventing it from strengthening is really currently over it. And then shear is going to be low over the next few days for the storm and should allow for some relatively quick strengthening to occur. Good consensus with the exception of the CTCX that the storm will turn north and head towards the Philippines. The European model also in agreement with the h wharf and the GFS. It's very unlikely that the CTCX scenario will pan out, but it's still good to acknowledge that it's there. So here's the storm currently on satellite, lots of even minus 90s popping up on the storm, lots of convection, and you can see um, the storm really looking healthy right now. Lots of outflow and lots of time for it to strengthen. Thank you so much for watching, we will see you next time. You can follow our outlets, first of all, the website, for com with new articles coming out all the time for your reading pleasure about all things weather. YouTube.com forward slash force 13 with our tropical weather bulletins, animations, and tropical updates. You can also find us on Facebook with more information on those things. And then also on Twitter, we have the U.S. branches and AU branches on there as well, but you can see the URL below. Teespring.com slash store slash force 13 that's where you can find things like the smug mug to buy. And finally, the Patreon. Patreon.com forward slash force 13 where you can support the project and help it become even better.